Hi guys, I'm about to take you through a mobility warm up, dynamic stretching that you can incorporate into any of your training sessions, competition days. Um, the idea of this is that you take it slow, it's not a workout. You want to go through a full range of the exercise, breathing through it, and nice, calm, and control. So, watch what I'm doing, listen to my cues, and use this. You can use it in parts or the whole thing. Um, it would be a great addition to any of your training sessions. Okay, we're going to start with some mobility moves through your neck, head, shoulders. So just follow me, nice and easy and gentle. Don't push your neck too far, especially at the beginning. Some gentle head rolls. Make sure your shoulders are down. Nice and relax, and slowly increase your range. Side to side, and slowly drop your neck back, and then repeat. circles. Make sure you go both ways. Gently bring it back to the center, chin to chest. Make sure your shoulders are down, nice and relaxed. And then head back, let it fall back. And then again, chin to chest. Go through your ten at your own pace and then slowly bring it back to centre and shake it out. Okay, I'm just going to open up through the centre of your chest, shoulders down, gently finding your range from your shoulders, opening up through your chest area just to where your shoulders and chest want to open. Don't push it too strong. See it? So you want to work through about 20 of these at your own pace. So once you've done your 20, bring it back to centre and arms down. Okay, now we're going to work through into your legs. So just nice and relaxed. You want your legs to come through on a natural leg swing. So nice and stable here. You want your core locked on. Strong through your stabilizing leg. 10 swings on one side. Just to a normal height. And then work through to your other side. Squeezing back through your glutes as your leg comes backwards and allow that gentle swing motion to happen. So you want about 10 on each side. A couple of rounds through, okay? So back onto the other side. Sit, nice and gentle. Then your other side. Back and forth. So once you've 
we've done a couple of rounds of those. Bring it back to centre. Now we're going to go sideways, left to right, your leg moving in front of your body. Nice and stable on that strong leg. Let your body move with your leg opening up. That's it. So again, lock your core on. Let it help you and you're getting that nice stretch through your hips. Other side. Three hip flexors, side glutes. So again, about 10 on each side. So make sure you go through your 10, just showing you the motion. Okay, bringing it back to centre. Now we're going to work into some hip opens. Standing up. So knee comes up, bit of a right angle, gently opening up to the side. Again, 10 reps. Notice here if you're a bit tight in your hip flexors. So if you need to do a few more, listen to your body and include more if you need. Okay, and other side, couple of rounds. Leg down, and other side again. All right, okay, release it down. Shake it out. Now we're gonna move down onto the ground. We're gonna work through your chest area into an opening stretch. So you're coming down onto all fours, knees. You want your hands to be tracking under your shoulders, okay? So not out here, not back here. Weight forward. You're gonna bring your hand up to your ear and there's a slight elbow to elbow and opening up. Nice and gentle, not too much range to start with. 10 rounds, nice and slow. So don't push your range too much to start with. Just want to get that movement going. Hand down, other side. Again, set yourself up, opening up, elbow to elbow. side with this level one move. Breathing through and then at least two rounds on each side at this level. Okay? Once you've done your two rounds of those, we're going to go to level two, open. So same position. Hands tracking under your shoulders. So you're here opening up again, but we're going to go deeper into the under and also into the open. So come with me, nice and deep under, and then follow your opening elbow with your eyes. Through, opening up, again, elbow to elbow, and you can go a little bit deeper into that if you want to. Listen to your body and allow that range. Other side. Get your 10, 10 reps in. Okay, once you've done 10 on each side, then go through and do another round again at your own pace. Now we're gonna to move to level three of that thoracic open. So you're here. Same position, your arms are going to come all the way under, big reach through as far as you can go, big reach through, and then just extend it out. 
Breathe out as you're reaching through and open up. So you've got a big reach through and under and opening up. Ten on each side. Okay, I'm going to swap to the other side. So you're going to do your ten. Big open. Big reach through here and open up. Okay, so you're going to do that level three, same thing, 10 reps each side, couple of rounds through. Okay, once you've done that, we're going to move into a hip flexor, oblique open stretch. So, standing, you're going to walk out into a plank, hands under, tracking under your shoulders. You're going to have a big step up, so foot to hand. Here, set yourself up. Relax into that stretch here. Once you're nice and relaxed there, deep into the hip flexor, we're going to open away from this knee, so we're opening this side. Keep that arm locked into your leg. Foot down, open up. So you want everything stacking on top of each other. Hand, shoulder, head, other shoulder, knee, foot. Hold that for about five seconds, then hands back down, in, push back, and relax through your upper body. If you want to relax here, pushing back, and go again, same side. Relax into it, open up, holding for five, push down, and then push back. So once you've done ten on one side, you're going to move to the other. Same thing, stepping up, foot to hand, lock that arm in here, relax into it. Heel down at the back and open up. Lock this front arm in, eyes following this hand. Hold for five, bring back to set position, push back, relax through the upper body. Stepping forward again, hands in, relax into it. Lock this front arm in, heel down at the back, open up. Hold for five, breathe, push down, and then push back. That's a really beautiful stretch. You'll like that. Feels really good. So you want to do ten on each side. Rest. If you feel like you need to do more through your hip flexors and opening up, then definitely include more. Okay? Listen to your own body. Okay, now we're going to go into a seated hip rotation. So from here, on your bottom feet, about hip width apart. Level one, you're just gonna start gentle rotations. Hands can be on the ground at this stage. Gentle rotations through the hips. Okay, level two from here, hands off and pushing through your hips as you come around here to here, push, heels down, you might travel a bit with this one as you're traveling forward, but that's fine, and hip rotations, so about ten, more if you need. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle back, go into level three. So same position, same movement, but we're going to raise from here. So watch, heels, knee to foot, coming up from here, raising the hips, here, pushing forward, squeeze through the glutes, open up through the chest. No hands. 
other side. Here, coming up, pushing through the hips, squeezing through the glutes, activating those hips. Coming up, squeeze, sitting back down. Try not to let your hands touch the ground, okay? Let your legs and your hips work. About 10 rotations through here. Again, more if you need. Okay, all right, good work. Sitting down, shaking it out. We're gonna go into a reverse bridge, stretch, reach over. Really listen to your own body and its range here. Start slow and then you can extend as we go and listen to my cues. So we're coming up, reverse bridge position, lifting through the hips, core on, your shoulders are gonna do a lot of the work here. Lifting up, you can open up through here. So as we come up, this hand's gonna be here, pushing up, lifting through the hips, squeezing through the glutes, and we're gonna reach over our opposite shoulder. So left arm is going over right shoulder. Coming up, big reach up. Again, as the arm goes back, squeeze through the glutes, reach over as far as you can go. Hold for about five, coming back down. We're gonna work that same side. Push up through the heels, quads on, glutes on. Arm comes over, push the weight back onto this stabilizing arm, reaching over. Coming back down, and again. About 10 on each side, lifting. Push. You'll find your range will deepen each time you come up. Breathe through it. Bring up and up. So do your 10 and then I'll show you the other side. Same thing. Set it up. Heels on the ground. Arm in the middle. Push up. Reach over, weight back. Use this stabilizing arm. Push up, quads, glutes. Reach over, move back. You'll feel the difference when you take the weight on this stabilizing arm. Five breaths. And up. Reaching over, little twist if you can. And up. And down. I'll do one more here. You go through your 10 or more. And then release. We're going to go into a plank walk-in, another great stretch. Again, listening to your, if you've got any troubles with your knees, watch the depth in this. Listening to your body. Okay, from this position, arms up, we're going to roll down. I want you to walk it out into a good plank, which means hands tracking under your shoulders, eyes up. Now, both feet are coming in to this position, foot to hand, and other side as well, foot to hand. From here, hands come off the ground, into that deep squat. If you can, raise the hands, push through the heels, coming up. Step it back, walk it back. Go again. Walk it out, to plank, foot in, Hand in, hands up, eyes up, raise. Push through your heels, coming up. Breathe through these, walk it out. In, here, raise, pushing up. Walk it back, 10 reps. 
Go as deep as you can. Okay, trust your body, listening to your body. Coming up. Any pain in your knees, please don't go deep into this squat. Walking out. Walk in. Sit it up. Standing. Let's do one more. Really try and press through the heels as you're coming up out of this. Walk in. Here. Here. Sit into it. Open up through the hips. Arms up. Coming up. And arms down. Alright, we're nearly there. One last thing is a reverse lunge with a knee drive. A little bit more of a dynamic end to the warm up. So you should feel nice and warm, blood pumping. So it's a reverse lunge here, knee drive up. Here, knee drive up. Real drive, push up, Dyna dynamic drive, up comes. Ten on each side. That's it. Good. That's it. With your lunge, lunge back into it. Don't let that knee come over your front foot. So it's a step back, down, weight through the middle. Use this leg pushing up, drive up, down, drive up. I'll show you the other side. Down, driving up. Here, push up, and up, one more, alright, there you go, that's your mobility, dynamic warm up, you can add more reps, rounds into that, or you can break it down, pull bits and pieces that you particularly like from it. Okay, now it's time for your warm up. Okay, hi guys. Your core workout is coming up now. With core work, it's not your six pack, it's your whole midsection which supports your spine um, and the rest of your body. It's really important to get your technique right. So please listen to the cues that I give you. Nice, slow pace and full range, okay? So really listen to what I'm saying for each and every super set, which I'll break down for you coming up next. Okay, super set one. A super set means two exercises which you repeat. So these two you're gonna work for 30 seconds on one, 30 seconds on the other, and then you're gonna go through three rounds of that. I'll take you through exercise one. So we've got plank tap outs and a leg raise for each. That's your first two exercises. So your first one, plank tap outs. You're here in an elbow or a low plank position. So with your plank positions, not bum up. We want bum down, but we also don't want a dip in your lower back. So your core needs to work to lift to a plank position and have your elbows tracking under your shoulders. So from here, you're gonna work for 30 seconds, pushing back on your heels, which lengthens out your body. Squeeze through the glutes, let them help as well. Here, holding your plank. Breathing through it, tapping out in front for 30 seconds. Alternating arms, tap, tap. Keeping your hips nice and still. Let your core work. Tap out. Okay, so you're going to work for 30 seconds on your tap outs. Once that's finished, you're going to go straight into a leg raise reach. Okay, so it's here, tucking your hips under. You want your back nice and flat on the ground, no arch. Alright, so no space, flat which means you tuck these hips under. You're here, to the ground, leg raise, coming up, reach to your ankles. Legs down, legs up, reach to your ankles. Down, 
reach. Okay, keep it up. 30 seconds. Up. Reach. So 30 seconds on your plank tap outs. 30 seconds on your leg raise reaches. Then you go back to the plank tap outs again. Three rounds through. Okay, superset set number two coming up. We've got hip dips and a V leg press. And I'll show you both. Same timings as super set one. Hip dips coming up. On your elbows again. Okay, into that plank position. So body over your hands, elbows under your shoulders. Push back through the heels, not strong plank. From here, you're going to raise up and dip the hips down. Pull up and dip. Pull up, dip down. Nice and controlled, not too fast. Pull up, pull down. Up, into a nice oblique work. Breathe through all your core workouts. That's it. Okay, so that's your hip dips. Pull the body forward. Second exercise is a V leg press, which I'll show you. So hands seated position, hands close to your bottom, body up nice and high. So the legs come up and then extend out here. Push out, push out. Coming up, squeeze up, extend out, lean back. Not too much weight on your hands. Okay, up and out. Here and there. Okay, 30 seconds of each of those. Three rounds through. All right, so you set number three. Two exercises here. Uh, a plank shoulder tap, so this is a high plank hold, and then a plank push with a knee drive. I'll show you both, starting with shoulder taps. So high plank hold here, which means straight arm. Coming up into that position, body weight forward. Again, hands straight under your shoulders. Minimal hip movement, shoulder, Shoulder, so push through the ground, push through the palm, touch shoulder. Here, push back through the heels, lock on through your legs, and taking your weight forward. Eyes, you want eyes up a bit, not head tucked under. So here, shoulder taps, shoulder taps, push through the ground, 30 seconds. Breathing through each move. Okay. Right. Next one. Plank push with a knee drive. So with this one, you want to sit back. Plank position again. Straight arm or high plank. Sitting back onto your heels. Then as you come out of this, raise one leg. Knee drive through your arms. Sitting back, knee drive through. Sitting back. Alternating legs, get that knee through your hands, through your arms. Driving through, 30 seconds. Okay, next superset, two exercises, plank crunch and a Russian twist, and I'll show you both. Okay, plank crunch, here, your hand's going to come off the ground, touching your opposite knee, back to plank, touch, back to plank, here, back to plank, nice and controlled, concentrate.
30 seconds of these. Okay, now we're going to go into your Russian twist. Feet off the ground, if you can. If not, feet on the ground. I'll show you both. So first one, feet on the ground. You're not sitting upright. Leaning back, core on. Hands here. Elbows to ground. Okay. What I'd really like to see though, feet up. Dipping down. Here, here. Okay, 30 seconds, Russian twist. Okay. Okay, next one, the last super set of this core cool workout. You've got an oblique open into a dip with a V stick hold. All right, watch the first one, oblique open into a dip. So this is on your elbows. There. Together, one in front of the other, into that plank position. From here, the front arm will open into a oblique open, and then this hip is going to dip to the ground. So here, dip, pull up, hand in front, other side, up, dip, and up. Big pull up, open, dip down, pull up. Bottom down, open, dip down, pull up. Make sure that dip is there. Dip down, pull up, here, dip down, pull up. Bottom down, dip, pull up. Okay, second one, V sit hold. Alright, here, you are going to. Have your legs up, here, core on, start with holding your legs, then we're going to release, be sit, hold, open up through your shoulders, pull in, hold for 30 seconds, holding, remember if need be, hold your legs, if not, release. That should be a seat hold. Okay. Okay, little finisher for your core workout here. It's three exercises. You've got a high plank, a low plank, and then plank rocks. What you're going to do is you're going to do 20 seconds of each, then rest, then you do 30 seconds of each, then you rest, then you finish with 40 seconds of each one, and then you're done, okay? We'll take you through and show you what each exercise is. So high plank, technique and form, hands tracking under the shoulders, bottom down, so straight arm, weight forward over your hands as much as you can. Okay, not back here, not bum up, not this, I want here, Weight forward, eyes up, bottom down, pull, set. That's your hold for 20 seconds, first round. Once you've done that, you go straight into a low plank hold, which is on your elbows. So here, again, elbows under your shoulders, push back through the heels, activate your glutes, knees, bottom down, weight forward. Breathing. Neutral spine, holding 20 seconds. Then, your final one is plank rocks, which are also done on your elbows. So with this, I want a long pull forward and then a strong push back. So watch technique first. You're here, into your position, low plank. You're pulling all the way forward. And then pushing back through your heels. Pulling forward, pushing back. Forward, push back. Here. Okay? Pull forward, push back. Pull forward, push back. 
And that's your three exercises for your core finisher. Good luck. Okay guys, I've just taken you through your core workout uh, with the supersets, the 30 second bursts, three rounds through. Really important to listen to those cues of the good technique. Don't rush through it. That's not going to work your core. Nice and controlled, strong moves. If you can't get through those timings on level one, it's fine. Do what you can and then slowly build it up. You can even break that down into two half um, sessions or just pick some ones that you really, really like and keep working on them. Try and get through the whole thing though and like I said, think about those good techniques and form. Good luck.